Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen, and this video is all about modifications to the Yak Attack Black Pack. All right, so my Black, black Pack does not have a whole lot of modifications uh, like what you're going to see on the next Black Pack, but this one right here, a lot of people have issues with it being too narrow. Okay, so I've got some 3700 boxes in here. And a lot of times when you get multiple 3700 boxes in a black pack, it's very difficult to get them out because you have a lip that sits right here. So what I did when I first got my black pack, before putting it together, I took the two top rails, I taped them together in multiple places, and then I, I marked this little cutout right here. And I cut both of them at the exact same time so they're exactly the same. And I just widened the hole up so when you close the lid, you got this much space right here. Okay, and that makes it to where you can get these 3700 boxes in and out. Really, really simple. So that's the only modification that I've done to it so far. But let me have Scott show you his stuff. All right, guys. Uh, so Gene's black pack is pretty much stock other than making the one minor one minor uh, adjustment to the to the to the lip there so that you can fit the 3700s in there um, for me the 3700s are just a little bit of a turn sideways and they come in and out enough that I didn't make that same adjustment but what I did do was a lot of other adjustments to the outside of my box making things work the way that I wanted them um, I'm not a big fan I don't carry a lot of rod holders off the side of the boat so I got six rod holders um, so that I can carry four or five rods and my net successfully on the back side of my black pack. Um, I also, so I added a couple of those individually there. I also took and ran me some extra bungee cable, just tied me some holes in. And, and if you flip around this side over here, Gene, you can see where I just tied in some bungee cords and some knots right here and tied that down so that I could carry another waterproof container here. Well, this became so successful for me that, uh, that, that Yeti, and I'll pick this up and flip it around, Yeti makes the bigger bag. So I'm a dude who always prepares for every scenario, right? So I wanted something that was waterproof so that I could carry phone chargers. Um, if I'm down uh, you know, in the swamp or something where there's a chance that I tip, um, I, I carry snake shot in a nine millimeter. Um, but I usually, but sometimes I'll leave that in here. So that way, if, you know, if I'm somewhere where I know I'm gonna get wet or I get a lot of splash or I'm in and out of the boat coming over beaver dams or stuff like that, then, then it allows me to put it in here. Or if I realize that we're gonna get it in, you know, in any, any kind of rain shower, then, I, then I'm able to use this here. Um, one of the modifications uh, that I love is I hinged my lid, so that way the lid stays up all the time. That was something that, uh, that, that I, I felt like really worked well. I also took one of, the, one of the Mighty Mounts and placed it here because I run my camera boom above my head off of the back of this here. I know that Yak Attack is currently working on uh, some, some, some camera uh, booms and camera poles, but I didn't want to wait. So, you know, in this industry, uh, you know, we, we make your own. So what Gene loves about this, because he sees how we load these to and from the, from the car, is I took some, it's super simple guys, I took some 550 cord, right? And just run it through the holes that are on the black pack. Tied it in on the bottom side and just made it a loop. I took an old duffel bag strap and ran it through on both sides. So that way when it's time to get out of the water or go to the water, you pick up your black pack, throw it over your shoulder, and you've got two hands to carry rods, to carry your net, anything like that is that you want to go. And that's what Gene's draw drops every single time he sees me get it out of the truck. So, because uh, it just was convenient and a better way to carry it. Especially when you overload all the rod holders like I did, it, it takes away those handles back here. I covered them up. So for me, it was easy to up and go, get to the water, and we'll catch you on the flip side. How awesome is that? <laughs> I'm so jealous. I'm gonna actually try to spend some time this winter getting it right. Uh, it, uh, it's a good mod, guys. Check it out. <laughs> Y'all, if you have any questions, or better yet, show us your black pack. Uh, take some pictures, comment below, or, uh, or post them up on our Facebook wall, or on his Facebook wall, because yeah. Yeah, nobody knows who I am, and that's okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> his name is Scott. <laughs> that's pretty much it. But yeah, guys, those are some pretty cool modifications that he's done. Um, and there's a lot more out there, but we just thought we'd show you ours. Well, uh, like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water, go out and catch a fish, and don't fish with him.
Oh, there's no fish had when you fish with me. <laughs> Two days in a row. I'm skunked. Yeah, nothing. It's December. <laughs> it's terrible fishing. We'll catch you guys next time. There you go.